What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Just Play J back with another video for you guys. Um, I know I haven't posted a video in a minute, but um, I figured I'd just do one today after just eating like a hearty, uh, you know, holiday dinner. Um, my wife can cook, but anyway, I just wanted to do a bit, quick video. Um, I haven't played my Win 600 in a while. Um, I know people have been looking at other devices, but um, I know that. Um, Basically that there's been a steam sale going on. So I actually ended up buying like Devil May Cry 5 I know I had it for my actual PC, but I mean actually no for my PlayStation 4 But I never actually bought it for my PC. So I just bought it at a, for a special sale I think it was like 999 when I uh, when the sale was going on. I don't know the sale is still going on But I figured why not, you know, let me add it to my collection And so I tried looking at other YouTube videos and I couldn't find anything on how to uh, set uh, Devil May Cry 5 for the uh, Win 600 because when I tried playing it for the first time it was like super slow so uh, I was able to at least configure some settings for this and I was able to at least get it to the best optimal settings for this device to at least make it at least um, playable so um, we're just going to take a quick look at it and it seems like you know it plays decently so it's not too bad I mean, for right now, it looks good. So I have it at um, a resolution of like 960 by 544. I mean, you can see there's a little bit of slowdown, but it's actually playable. It's still, you know, pretty fun. I mean, it's not, of course, the quality's not as good as the Steam Deck, but I mean, it's still playable for me. Like, I don't feel like it deters away from the gameplay. Not too much. Yeah, so it looks it looks pretty playable, and I'll show you guys in a minute how I, I set it up. But I just want to kind of show you how the gameplay on it for the moment. I mean, it looks good. It looks good. Okay, and if I just kind of like spin it around, y'all can kind of see. I don't know if I can zoom in on them, but. I have it at like 80% resolution just to, you know, get the frames per second to be a little bit, um, just, I guess the frame to be just a little decent, so, that's what I did. Um, and, you know, like I said, you know, you get a little bit of graphics, you know, like the graphics are not as great, but at least, you know, you're, you have to focus more on the gameplay overall, so, and, you know, I mean, for what, for what it is, I mean, it's definitely pretty good. Like I said, it's not the Steam Deck. Like, I'll eventually get a Steam Deck in the near future or something like that. But for right now, I got my Win 600. Okay. Looks good, looks good. Now, for right now, like I said, it looks good on you know when, on the on device right now. But if anybody has any uh, recommended settings or whatever, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, like I said, I'll post what I have for anybody that's like new to the uh, Win 600 game. Because I know they have a special going on, like the Black Friday special going on for the Win 600. So if y'all end up getting yours, um, and you guys decide to get Devil May Cry 5, I'll definitely post my settings just to kind of give you an idea of how you know I'm playing mine. Like, again, this is like the beginner settings. So, I'll definitely leave it in the description. Also, you know, just kind of pause it and show you guys what I have. 
I guess after I fight this monster here real quick. Oh, that looks good. Okay. Okay, let me just close, do a close up here. And so I'm going to pause it and then I am going to go to options and then I am going to go to PC options. Oops, things sensitive right now. And then you go to graphics, of course. And so these are my settings. So if you all just want to kind of like, you know, pause it or something like that, I have my screen resolution set to like 960 by 540. Uh, refresh rate just stays at 60 um, hertz. Full screen mode, frame rates variable, uh, V-Sync v stays on, and then the rendering method is uh, normal. And then I would recommend just uh, putting the resolution scaling at 80%. 100% um, might work for you, but uh, the frames per second might be a little bit lower. So the gameplay may not be as good. So you'll see a little bit of slow gameplay when you're um, if you put it at 100%. So I would recommend just keeping it like between like 80% to 100%. Um, if you go any lower, it's going to look a little blocky and pixel pixelated, and you don't want that because it will take away from the gameplay just a little bit. And for my texture quality, I have it set to low, and then my texture filtering quali quality is minimum, mesh quality is low, um, anti-aliasing aliasing is uh, at, just set to TAA, so I just kept that TAA, um, don't know exactly what that means, but it works for me. And then motion blur, you can, it doesn't matter too much. You can keep, set it to off or keep it on. Like it doesn't really change, make a difference when you like what you, what you put it on. And then I have my effects quality set to low, um, shadow quality minimum. And then uh, my shadow cache is set to on. Uh, ambient occlusion type is off. And then bloom is off. Lens flare is off. Then volumetric light quality is set to none and screen splice reflections off subsurface scattering off uh, chromatic aberration is set to off color range just kept the default so or srgb of course but that's what the original settings were and that's what works for me for right now so if you guys have i mean for anybody that has played or that does own a win 600 and has played devil may cry 5 and has better settings please let me know in the comments below um, if you have like something that um, increases the frame rate or whatever, um, yeah, definitely let me know. I mean, because I would love to just kind of display it too or showcase it. Um, but for right now, this is what works for me. And I mean, the gameplay is fairly smooth for me. I mean, it's not perfect, but it definitely works. It's playable. And, you know, I'm happy with that I made the purchase, you know, for, for this. So if I want to just kind of like, you know, play it, just play it, you know, on my sofa or my couch or whatever I can do that so I mean it works for me I mean the gameplay is fairly smooth I mean of course you're gonna lose a little bit in graphics but um, at least you know you get a playable you know Devil May Cry 5 for the Win 600 um, and I have the uh, 3050e version of course but it works for me so I just want to guys just give you guys you know just give a video of you know my settings for Devil May Cry 5 because I didn't see it anywhere in like any other YouTube video um, at least explaining that so for those that are just getting their win 600 and they want to know like the settings you know here it is so um, I appreciate you guys just watching this uh, preview of Devil May Cry 5 and um, if you haven't already be sure to um, if you have if you are watching this video be sure to um, just subscribe to my channel um, and then just turn on your notifications and of course just give this video a thumbs up if you have any comments, I'll definitely try to reach, um, respond back at my earliest convenience. Um, again, um, I do appreciate y'all. You know, for those that have subscribed to my channel, I appreciate it. Keep on watching; more videos to come. Um, eventually, when I do get the RG five hundred five, I will definitely do a showcase of that and do some requests. I'm um, hopeful. Hopefully, I get it sometime this like early December, and I can do a showcase of it. So. Uh, just keep an eye out for that, and I will see you guys soon. Peace out.